Hey guys, coming back to you for another video. Today, the commentary I have. Well, I got some Cod World War II gameplay. And I'm, I'm back. Hopefully, I'm going to be back for a good amount of time. I have some stuff to explain. In the form of commentaries. I plan to get back on the grind. And I've settled a lot of stuff, so... It looks like I finally stabilized the current situation, so... We'll be able to get back to doing stuff consistently again. And I'm pretty excited for this, so... I got you some... Hardpoint on shipment. And, so commentary, let's start the commentary. Enough of the rambling. And so, today... It's about the teams to watch out for at COD Champs. I'm specifically going to talk about teams. <laughs> yeah. Teams from the LCQ that qualified for COD Champs. And just, just specifically the LCQ teams to look out for. That I think could be a good potential threat. There's eight teams I selected. Moratori, Lightning Pandas, Team Sween, Havoc, Elevate, E6, Ghost Gaming, and Heretics, KFC. <laughs> so the first team to look out for, in my opinion, that's going to come out, and, and they're in a good, in a tough group, but, and, and the team to look out for is Moratori. Moratori just because of Nova Mayhem spoof back when back when they're on GGA Orange. <laughs> and they always looked that they were gonna be that team to qualify. Just to end up qualifying for champs. Well not for champs, for for the league, they didn't look like they were gonna qualify. And their performance is back from when they were GGA Orange. And they always look they always make it into pools consistently so they could in my opinion, put up a fight. Next team, in my opinion, to watch out for is Lightning Pandas. Just because of the sheer talent and the and then the veterans that they are. Gunjar, Theory, Zodic, and <sighs> who's their fourth? I actually can't remember who's their who their fourth is, but just knowing the talent and potential they have. And Lightning Pandas, one of the teams I think of that should have been in the Pro League is just Lightning Pandas. I think they can come out and shake up shake up the bracket when they make it out of pools. And that they should have been in, they should have been in the Pro League and then Just the talent they have is that's why you should look out for them. The third team to watch out for is Sween just because a PD, Quirker, and Moose. There's some EU veterans. Some of the bigger EU veterans like PD. I think Moose was in the Pro League with Epsilon. If I'm not mistaken. So Moose has some experience with the pros. And he could be a guy to look out for. That roster. And then the new fourth that Team Sween have. He's a pretty young guy. But he... If I'm not mistaken, he did pretty good in search at the LCQ. And if they go to any game fives, or he would be a deciding factor for him. On the fourth team, in my opinion, to watch out for, guys, is Havoc Esports. Just because of the likes of Fastball, Remy, and Emrys. Emrys, he was a pro last year in E6. Remy had... I don't even remember who he was on for Infinite Warfare. Well, for bo I don't think he was still on Elevate. No, because he wasn't. Because Felony replaced him. But Remy had the Team Revenge. He was on Team Revenge. <laughs> he was on Team Revenge. So he has that experience for champs. And then Fastball was probably one of the higher tier amateurs in my opinion. And then the fifth team, guys, to watch out for is Elevate. Just because of Space Knee, Mox, and Proto. Some of the better veterans, Mox. Last year on Ghost Gaming, Proto, he was on Lightning Pandas to begin the year. And he was a pro last year for E6, and he's had that champs experience. And then Space Lee, he's been one of the bigger veterans from Call of Duty from all this time. 
he would play it on LG for BO3 champs. And then Infinite, who who did he play for? I actually do not remember who he played for. But Space is one of those bigger veterans. And then the next guy that you for Elevate to watch out for is Major Maniac. He's one of the guys that came up in the search in the S and D scene. And with much with teams not knowing well, really not knowing what he could do. And I think he was on... I don't know what team he was actually on, but... For champs. Last year, but Spacey is one of those big vets. Out there. And he was coaching LG. I think for a point he was really coaching LG. He was on Ghost Gaming, so yeah. Mox and Space, they have some experience together, so I could see them making a potential move. The sixth team to watch out for is E6, just because they may pull many times. The roster of Diabonic Sender. Diabonic Sender, General, and BZ. That roster looked like they could have been in the Pro League once E6 settled the roster mania. That roster looked really looked solid. They made pulls as many times. And they could shake up stuff. They could shake stuff up the champs. And people shouldn't really count out E6. Just because they've been in the national circuit, people shouldn't really count them out and watch out for them. Because with the pool they are in, I don't even know, remember what pool E6 is in. E6 is in the pool of death, I think. Yeah, they're in the pool of death, and that pool, E6, can always shake things up. And then, the, I guess the next team to watch out for is Parasite's Ghost Gaming. I think he has some really, really good potential. Of what he could do in Ghost Gaming. With the current roster of Lacefield, he is an iconic player of champs. Of, I think of champs in BO3. Of when he had won that 1v1 against Formal Eliminated Optic. And Lacefield's one of the better search. God RX and Panda. I think have been a duo forever. When's the I don't know when's the last time I've seen them competing. Not competing together. They've been a duo. And then Ghost Gaming. They made it through pool. They made it into pools before. They went into winner's bracket at Seattle. Even though that event was really weird. And But Ghost Gaming has some potential. Parasite at Champs winning... When he won with Fariko Impact in BO2, that seems ages ago. And then Complexity, and we well, didn't win with, but in Black Ops 3, he put up that good performance with Complexity. Of that roster, I forgot who the roster was Havoc. I only can't remember, but he had that interesting performance. And they've looked solid throughout the year. And there, that's one team I thought should have made it into the Pro League. But they didn't. But I think they, they have a lot of potential when it comes to showing the champs. And the last and final team, in my opinion, to look out for is Heretics. The Spanish roster. They've made it into pools, I think, once or twice before. Which I'm not 100% sure about. But Heretics... I think they really, if I, my memory doesn't mistake me, they qualified real easy. Uh, they qualified real easy at champs. No, not for champs. They qualified real easy at the LCQ. So I think when it comes to the LCQ, and people might not know as much about Heretics. So they could potentially pull some upsets if some teams, I don't know what the availability of VOD, VODs might be on them. They could potentially shake some stuff up just to the amount of knowledge that might be out about them. So some teams might... It might get surpri surprise some teams. Another team, I think... The ninth team I think that can really... Really surprise is... Uh, Supremacy, yeah. Supremacy is one of the teams I think the French... The Frenchmen can surprise in their pool. 
just because they have optic, EG, and Elevate. I think they can surprise just because, again, the amount of VODs that they have that, that teams might not have on Supremacy. So I think that's one team you could watch out for. You may shake some stuff up, make some tie, an interesting tiebreaker. So yeah, guys, that's kind of it on the teams to watch out for at Call Champs 2018. Hope you enjoyed the video. So make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And you share that crumbling, guys. It's, I'm just cleaning. I'm uh, kind of a mess here. And I'm just cleaning it while I'll make the commentary, but. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you stay on that ground, guys, and peace. I'll make sure to keep you guys coming with more videos. Until next time, peace.